Hello my soccer universe, finally a review video <laughs> for this weekend and we'll start in the Bundesliga. Uh, just as a little aside, if you're watching this for the first time, it's an all German team's background because I got that shirt Leverkusen back there uh, today and uh, you will see the proper unpacking the story behind it rather soon. I'm wearing Gladbach who opened up the kind of the return the second part of so this is with a huge win over a yeah, COVID depleted Bayern with especially Manuel Neuer sitting at the uh, uh, Maldives and uh, uh, being uh, quarantined there. Not necessarily the worst place to be quarantined, to uh, be honest. And yeah, uh, we have Bayern lo losing a, Dor a huge Dortmund comeback, uh, but I don't still think we will have a title race. I, I would say I run quickly through the results that we had. I mean, a Friday evening, Bayern against Gladbach in uh, snowfall. It is really cold around here, so I'm actually surprised that the Bundesliga is playing again. Uh, maybe they don't have to deal with as many alpine conditions as Austria do have. Austria still a month off uh, there and you know it all despite all the missing players they still put out a decent squad and uh, they still could uh, take take the lead through Lewandowski completely at Gladbach in the back uh, within four minutes in the first half Neuhausen and uh, Stefan Leiner turned, turned, turned around and Bayern launched the big uh, offense in the second half uh but you know i didn't have too many uh options to actually make make changes they brought on copado and vanna uh so really youth team players and it was just not enough and gladbach get another win and it is adi hütter who seemingly has bayern's number he uh bayern can beat the big teams but against adi hütter teams bayern always have a little bit of trouble um leverkusen since i have them already new back there um also had a pretty tough tough game i mean patrick Schick, uh it was you know an even game where leverkusen again had the initiative but only on berlin is one is a well org organized team they can always hit you on the car counter the game but just waiting for that patrick Schick again scoring he's in rare scoring form to be honest in the third day and you thought yeah this puts leverkusen on the way way to win but uh Prömer, just before the half, uh, Pesky Union gets them the equalizer in, in a way, and then he, he even uh, gives them the lead right after the half. However, uh, Ta had one in rather, rather late, and then Leverkusen was actually pressing for the win, couldn't get it. Uh, another 2 2 between Freiburg and Bielefeld, a game that seemed to be done uh, just after the, um, the halftime when uh, Jung uh, gave uh, Freiburg a 2 0 lead. However, uh, Okugawa pulls one back for, for Bielefeld and they then deservedly uh, get an equalizer through Lasme. Uh, a pretty big point for Bielefeld, for Freiburg, you know, they have been in third, third place, maybe a little bit. I don't want to say the wheels are coming off because it's just one result, but it was not what they expected in many, many, many ways. Uh, Hoffenheim get a big win over Augsburg. Now they're up uh, in third spot. It was a big win for them. And Leipzig, um, yeah, an early red card uh, to Mainz and the penalty resulting out of, out of that uh, kind of late in the groundwork for a 4-1 win over Mainz. Remember, not too, too long game. Whenever Leipzig played Mainz, they completely rolled over them. Uh, Mainz now a little bit better, but you know, with 10 men down. It's a hard, was a hard task. Um, I actually really made an effort to watch Frankfurt against Dortmund and was not, I was disappointed in the end because I wanted Frankfurt to win, uh, but it was not a disappointing game. Maybe. It was actually quite ent 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 entertaining. With Dortmund starting bright, however, with the first chance, more or less, it was a costish free kick that Boré takes and then um, the Stuttgart goalkeeper not Stuttgart, former Stuttgart goalkeeper, uh, and now uh, his name excuse me, kind of is also caught out and uh, puts it into his own net. And from that moment on, Frankfurt was was, was a better team than Boré. Also, uh, uh, it was a nice attack that you seemingly Reus had cleared, but then an attacking error, ball falls to Boré, puts it in, 2 0 Frankfurt. And then they backed that up. They were then the better team. Dortmund was nowhere to be seen. They looked horrible. Their defense, both goals, defensively as uh, shambolic as usual. And then uh, after the half, um, I think it was Lindstrom who had a huge chance to make it 3-0. They definitely had the chance to make it 
didn't do it. And then suddenly Torgan Haza, who just, um, ah, he had not just, uh, he, he was on, on there. Uh, Torgan Haza makes it a little bit out of nowhere, 2-1. Uh, and then Jude Bellingham heads it in in the 87th minute to make it 2-2. Uh, it was really at that point, uh, 87th minute, you really thought that Frank was more holding on. They fell more and more and more and more back. And then they get the equals through Bellingham. And I'm thinking, oh, I really, really hope that this doesn't end up uh, in a loss. And then it does with the hood taking a shot from far out. Spirit performance from uh, Dortmund. Haaland especially lay, lay, lay down. Uh, he got a little bit also uh, wound up uh, proper, proper, too too much. He definitely could have gotten a card there as well. But, you know, seems, uh, you know, he had one bust up, I think, with Hinterreck he, he, after the 2-2. Then later on, on the sideline with Boré, uh, could have well gone the other direction. Uh, they, they, they had to get the second yellow, I think. Just his name saved him there a little bit. Um, he was very agile, but he actually uh, gave Dortmund the boost. And in the end, they get the win and got it relatively safely then also over the line for the last few minutes. But I gotta say, a draw in that game probably would have been more deserved. So it was left for Köln, uh, another team that I uh, support to actually start off the Bundesliga season for me personally uh, rather well although whenever Bayern loses it's always a good season uh, Hertha had a chance they missed it and from that moment on it was all Köln with Modest and Duda uh, just around the 30, 30 minutes scoring two two goals the reader pulls one back in the 50-57 at, at, at a time where Köln had completely dominated and probably should have been up by even more goals um, and you know it was a little bit of too too cool it was in the India but um, Current definitely would have deserved it, and uh, Tillman then in the stoppage time makes it 3 1. And then another shocker Bochum beating Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg really, really bad uh, these days. And so uh, we have it now that the Bundesliga table it is a little bit more uh, tighter now, but it's six points between Bayern and Dortmund, and six points between Dortmund and Hoffenheim. It was really actually surprising because as soon as Bayern lost, you thought that Dortmund will lose too. Uh, and then it is tight for the final two champ championship six spot. I actually was surprised to see Kern suddenly in there. Uh, but, you know, I would say that, uh, Le Le that Leipzig with just five points back, it's not out of it. Uh, Wolfsburg find them only in themselves only with 20 points. Really, really bad. And on the bottom we have Stuttgart, Augsburg and Bielefeld. And Greuther Fürth, of course, more or less relegated. Uh, if you look at the next... Uh, uh, games uh, we have Kern against, against Bayern could be in interesting but again I don't know how, 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 how the COVID situation is but the Bundesliga is pretty tough uh, there. Union against Hoffenheim I actually think this could be a super interesting one as is of course always Gladbach Leber because it's always a fun game to watch and then we have the classic on the bottom Bielefeld against Greuther Fürth Pretty big uh, one for Bielefeld because they better win this one if they want to have a chance of move, moving uh, out of the relegation zone. So yeah, that was it for me for the German Bundesliga. If you have seen anything or if you want to add anything, please drop a line below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.